Hi everyone, bonsoir, this is Shariq and welcome back to another lesson with Globetrot with Arabic. Ahla wa sahla fikun bi Globetrot with Arabic. Today is day 13 in our 30 day challenge. As I promised you, I will be uploading one lesson every single day for a period of 30 days. So just like I'm challenging myself, let me ask you guys to try to challenge yourselves, try to study every day as much as you can. And if you have any questions, of course, you can always leave, leave them in the comment box below. I will try my best to answer all of them. Um, before we begin, let me ask you to subscribe to my channel if you're finding my lessons useful. Also follow me on Facebook and on Instagram because I also upload lessons there almost on a daily basis. So today's lesson is going to be a Lebanese Arabic lesson. It's going to be a short conversation, but again, it's a very important conversation because it gives you a feel of how people really speak within the Lebanese context. Okay, let's begin. I'm going to turn my camera and show you my screen. See you in a bit. All right, guys, let's begin. I will read this conversation, which is taking place between a guy and a girl, but I will be playing the parts of both because obviously I'm alone. I will read with natural speed. Initially, I'm not going to slow down because I think it's important for you guys to get a feel of how we really speak Arabic when we don't slow down. And then we can read it slowly. We can break everything down. So don't worry. Let's begin. تعال نروح على السينا بعد الظهر عبالك ايه ليش لا شو بدك تحضري في فيلم لبناني جديد نازل اسمه كفرنحوم قصته كتير بتأثر يي ايه سمعت عنه ايه اكيد خلينا نروح الساعة تلاتة او خمسة تلاتة احسن بشوفك بعدين رح انترك حد ما كانت البشار منشتري تشيبس وشوكولا هو من فوت الله يساعدنا عليك بضل بالك ببطنك شغيك خففت لقمش Now let's read it one more time with Latin script تعا نروح على السينة بعد الظهر عبالك ايه ليش لا اور ليه لا شو بدك تحضري في فيلم لبنان جديد نازل اسمه كفرنحوم قصته كتير بتأثر يي ايه سمعت عنه ايه اكيد خلينا نروح الساعة تلاتة او خمسة تلاتة احسن بشوفك بعدين رح انترك حد ما كانت البشار منشتري تشيبس وشوكولا ومنفوت الله يساعدنا عليك بضل بالك ببطنك شغيق خففت لقمش Alright, let's break this down تعا نروح عالسينة بعد الظهر عبالك تعا means come It just means come But when I say تعا نروح It means come, we go But when I say تعا نروح I don't mean come, we go I mean let's go تعا نروح تعا نروح Come we go Let's go تعا نروح I wrote here عال سينة But we will pronounce it عال سينة So تعا نروح عال سينة Let's go to the movies So when I say تعا نروح I'm talking to a guy But if I want to say the same to a girl or a woman I have to say تعا نروح Let's go And if I want to say it to more than one person, I have to say تعو نروح تعو نروح And with Latin letters, we write it تعي If it's feminine تعي Which means come in the feminine form It's the imperative form Or تعو The imperative form in the plural So تع That's masculine تعي That's feminine And تعو So if I want to tell My sister, let's go, I will tell her تعن روح, تعن روح. If I want to tell my brother, I would say تعن روح. And if I want to say to my sister and my brother, I would say تعن روح. Okay? So, in this case, it's the girl who's talking to the guy. So we will say تعن روح عالسينة. Let's go to the movies. And then she said بعد الدهر. بعد الدهر. So, بعد means after. 
Al-Duhr. I wrote it Al-Duhr. But if you notice in Arabic, I wrote Al-Duhr. But since this letter D is a sun letter, even if I have here Al-Duhr, I'm not going to pr pronounce it Al-Duhr. I'm going to pronounce it Al-Duhr because D is a sun letter. And every time you have a sun letter, the L sound of the L disappears. So that's why we say بعد الدهر and not بعد الدهر. Now if you say بعد الدهر, بعد الدهر, it's fine, it's not the end of the world. But we say بعد الدهر, it's better, it's more native. So بعد الدهر, after the noon. That's how you say afternoon in Arabic. We say after the noon. بعد ال, which means the دهر. بعد الدهر, after the noon, which means afternoon. Let's go to the movies in the afternoon. عبيلك. Now, let's break عبيلك down. When I say عبيلك, it means do you feel like it? But if I want to break it down literally, it doesn't mean do you feel like it. It comes from the word بيل, which means mind. ع means on and ak means your. So it's like you're saying on your mind on your mind which means do you feel like it now this ak obviously means that i'm talking to a guy if i want to say the same thing to a girl i would say abelik abelik and if i'm talking to a guy i would say abelak do you feel like it and if i want to say it to more than one person i will say abelkun so do you feel like it but literally i'm saying on your minds or on your mind maybe this doesn't make sense in english but in arabic it does so let's go to the movies in the afternoon do you feel like it when i'm talking to a guy and the guy said eh or eh leila eh means yeah it's not yes, it's yeah, because yes in Arabic means na'am. But when I say a, eh, it means yeah. A. Eh. Lish la. Lish means why and la means no. And also le means why. It's exactly the same thing. These two are not different. Sometimes I say a eh, lish la. Yeah, why not? And sometimes I can say a eh, le la. Yeah, why not? Shu baddik tahdare. Shu what? Baddik, you want in the feminine form. Shu baddik tahdare. Tahdare is you watch in the feminine form. So, shu baddik tahdare, what do you want to watch? In Arabic, when I ask a question, I don't add do. What do you want to watch? No, we don't have that. I just say what you want. You watch, which means what do you want to watch? Okay? Shu baddik tahdare. Shu baddik tahdare. What do you want to watch? If you say the same thing to a guy, you have to say shu baddak. Shu baddak. And tahdare becomes tahdar. You drop the e sound in the end. Shu baddik tahdare. That's feminine. Shu baddak tahdar. That's masculine. شو بدك تحضر if I'm talking to a guy في فيلم لبناني جديد نازل في فيلم لبناني جديد نازل في there is فيلم a film a movie في فيلم لبناني لبنيز so لبنان لبنان لبناني لبنيز في فيلم لبناني جديد جديد يعني نيو في فيلم لبناني جديد there is a new Lebanese movie نازل okay let's break نازل down نازل from our previous lesson I think you already know that نازل is a participle and it acts as an adjective many times it means in this case the goer down literally okay when I say fi film nazil, it means there is a movie that has just uh, been released. It 
but in Arabic, to be released, we say nezil, to go down. I don't know why we say to go down, nezil. It's, uh, may, I think in English you would say released or it has come out or up, I'm not sure. But in Arabic, when you want to say something is new or it's been released recently, we say nezil. So when I say in this case, fi film jdeed nezil, there is a new movie that's just been released. So nezil is a participle, is not a verb. Okay? So fi film libnene jdeed nezil, or I can easily say, of course, fi film libnene nezil jdeed. When I say nezil jdeed, it's like I'm saying it's been released new, which means it's been re released recently basically okay ismo kfarnahum ismo ism means name ismo its name its name is but because in arabic we don't have verb to be in the present form i just say its name kfarnahum okay its name kfarnahum which means its name is kfarnahum or it's called kfarnahum basically fi film libnane jdeed nazil ismo كفرنحوم أسطو كتير بتأثر أسطو أصة in Arabic means story أصة أسطو means its story when I break it down in Arabic you will notice that the word أصة on its own means story and it has a te barbuta when I'm pronouncing it on its own let me write it in Latin letters here أصة I'm not pronouncing this te marbuta. I'm just saying ussa because the te marbuta is always silent as we know. But the moment I come and I add the possessive ending to it, which is the o, okay, let's write here a t that is silent. I'm not gonna say ussa o, no, I will say osto. And this a sound is kind of disappearing, so I'm saying osto, osto rather than ossato, okay? So, أسطو, its story, أسطو, كتير بتأثر. بتأثر means it touches you, بتأثر. In English, you would say it's touching. In Arabic, you would say it touches, which means it touches, it's touching, okay? So, أسطو, كتير بتأثر. Its story touches, which means its story is very touching. Let me repeat this sentence. في فيلم لبنان جديد نازل اسمه كفرنحوم أسطو كتير بتأثر. Now this movie is not very new. Actually, it was released last year. But I really, really recommend you guys go watch it. It's directed by the very famous uh, uh, movie director Nadine Lebake, she's such a talented lady, I love her. And this movie basically talks about the difficult life many people go through, specifically in areas that are very difficult and in poor areas of Lebanon. Um, it's really touching, it, it's actually one of the movies that either make you, makes you cry a lot or you think about it for at least two or three days after you watch it because that's how much it touches you. So I really recommend it. I will put a link of the trailer in the, in the description box below so you can take a look at it and maybe even buy it or go watch it somehow. Okay, let's continue. Yi e smat anno. Yi e smat anno. This yi is just a sound, it has no meaning. Yi e, it's like I'm saying, oh yeah, oh yeah, yi e. Sma'at anno. Sma'at is I heard. Can you hear the rain, by the way? It's so strong. Sma'at anno. I heard about it. An means about, anno means about it. Yi e sma'at anno. Oh yeah, I heard about it. إيه أكيد خلينا نروح. Yeah, of course. أكيد means of course. خلينا means let's. خلينا نروح. Let's go. إيه أكيد خلينا نروح. Yes, of course. Let's go. الساعة ثلاثة أو خمسة. الساعة ثلاثة أو خمسة. الساعة ثلاثة. Three o'clock أو خمسة. 
or five. If I break a say at three, the way we say it in Arabic is the clock or time. Three, three. That's how you say it. The time, three, which means at three o'clock. Something else you notice here. Since when I write Latin letters, I write the phonetic representation. I wrote it الساعه. I didn't write it الساعه the way we we write it in Arabic here. You see, there is a l. But again, the letter seen, the s sound, is a sun letter. And all the words in Arabic that are, that start with a sun letter, we drop the l sound when we put a l before them. So in this case, we write it الساعه. But we don't pronounce it al ah. we have to pronounce it al ah. the time or the hour or the watch. But when I say al ah, three, three o'clock. Aw khamsi, aw means or, and khamsi means five. Al ah, three, aw ah, khamsi, three o'clock or five o'clock. Oh my god, can you hear the thunder? Tlete, ahsan, three, better. You see, I didn't say three is better. We don't have that in Arabic. I just say three better. Tlete ahsan. Pshufak ba'din. Pshuf means I see. Pshufak is I see you in the masculine form. If I'm talking to a girl, I'm gonna say pshufik ba'din. Ba'din means later. Pshufak ba'din. I see you later. That's masculine. Pshufik ba'din. I see you later. That's feminine. Tlete ahsan, pshufak ba'din. Rah untrak, had, makanat al bushar. Let me repeat this. Rah untrak, had, makanat al bushar. Rah untur means I will wait. Rah untur. But if I want to say I will wait for you, I say rah untrak. That's if I'm waiting for a guy. If I'm waiting for a girl, I have to say Rah on trick. Rah on trick. Rah on trick. Rah means will. Okay? Rah on trick. Had next to or near or beside. Had. Makanat el bushar. The popcorn machine. So, makana in Arabic is one of these words that finishes with a tema rbuta. I don't pronounce it when it's on its own. So in Arabic, it's written ma ka na. When the word is alone, this te marbuta is silent. In Latin letters, we will write it ma ka na. And I can put this silent T be between brackets, ma ka na. But ma ka na til bushar, it's, I'm pronouncing in this case the te marbuta. Why? Because bushar is a noun. And makana is a noun. And in Arabic, anytime you have a noun that finishes with the te marbuta, that's followed by another noun, you have to pronounce the te marbuta. It, it won't be silent anymore. So, makanat el bushar, it's the machine, makana el bushar, the popcorn. You put the il to the second word. You don't put it to the first word. In English, you say the machine of the popcorn. In Arabic, you just say machine, the popcorn. We don't even have of. Machine of the popcorn, basically. So, رح انترك حد مكانت البشار I will wait for you next to the uh, popcorn machine. And we also say مكانت popcorn. We don't say popcorn, we say popcorn. Okay? Minishtri chips u chocola u min food. Let me repeat. Minishtri. I'm saying minishtri. I'm exaggerating, but you have to be very fast because here you have a consonant with a consonant. M N. There's no vowels here, so you have to say minishtri. So it's two syllables. Minishtri chips. We buy chips u chocola u min food. Minishtri is we buy chips is chips, or in British English they say crisps. Ou chocolat, ou, ou means and, but I, I have to say it really fast. Almost like ou chocolat, as if it's part of the word chocolat. Ou chocolat and chocolate. Ou min food. Min food is we go in or we enter. Ou min food. Minishtri chips ou chocolat ou min food. We buy chips and chocolate and we get in. Let me repeat this part. Tlete ahsan. Three is better. Bshoufak ba'din. 
I see you later. رح أنترك حد ما كانت البشار. بشار sorry. I will wait for you next to the popcorn machine. نشتري chips وشوكولا ومنفوت. We buy chips and chocolate and we go in. الله يساعدنا عليك. Let me repeat. الله يساعدنا عليك. This is a nice expression if you memorize it. It's fun also to say. Allah, God, يساعد, helps, يساعدني, helps me. God help me in this case. Allah يساعدني عليك. على, as we know, is on. عليك means on you. Allah يساعدني عليك. Literally, I'm saying God help me on you, which means God help me with you. So you can say Allah يساعدني عليك as a joke. If somebody like, like in this case, you will understand from the context that I like to eat a lot of chocolate, and my friend would go, "Oh, God help me with you!" Like you always want to eat chocolate, okay? So Allah يساعدني عليك. That's because he's talking to me, okay? But if he's talking to a guy, that would be Allah يساعدني عليك. Allah يساعدني عليك. If I'm talking to one of my guy friends, I will say عليك. Allah يساعدني عليك. Allah يساعدني عليك. Okay. And here I could have said عليك, but pronunciation-wise, it's nicer if you make it faster and abbreviate it to عليك. Allah يساعدني عليك بضل بالك ببطنك. بضل بالك ببطنك. Let's break it down. بضل means it remains. بضل. بالك. بال means mind. بالك your mind. It's like you're saying your mind remains. ببطنك. ب means in. بطن means uh, belly. بطنك means your belly. Literally, I'm saying it remains your mind in your belly. Which means you always think about food, basically. You always think about your belly. It remains your mind in your belly. If I'm talking to a guy, what should I say? Can you guess? Bidal be lak. Be but nak. Bidal be lak be but nak. If somebody eats a lot, I can say بضل بالك ببطنك. You always think about your belly. Allah يساعدني عليك بضل بالك ببطنك شغيك. Which is true. I really like my belly. I really like my foods and my sweets and all of that. خفف تلقمش. خفف تلقمش. خفف means make it less or reduce. خفف. خفف. If you're talking to a girl, if you're talking to a guy, you're going to say خفف. خفف تلقمش تلقمش means munching خفف تلقمش means reduce munching which means stop eating basically lots of nonsense okay I'm going to repeat the conversation one more time before we go and then we will have to conjugate I want, you want, he wants let me repeat this يلا تعا نروح عالسينة بعد الدهر عبالك Let's go to, to the movies in the afternoon. Do you feel like it? Eh, ليش لا? Or eh, ليه لا? Yes, why not? شو بدك تحضري? What do you want to watch? في فيلم لبناني جديد نازل. There's a new movie that's just been released. اسمه كفر نحوم. It's called كفر نحوم. قصته كتير بتأثر. Its story is very touching. يي إيه سمعت عنه. Oh yeah, I heard about it. Eh, أكيد خلينا نروح. Yes, of course, let's go. الساعة ثلاثة أو خمسة. Three o'clock or five. ثلاثة أحسن. Three is better. بشوفك بعدين. I see you later. رح أنترك حد ما كانت البشار. I will wait for you near the popcorn machine. نشتري chips وشوكولا ومنفوت. We buy chips and chocolate and we go in. Allah يساعدني عليك. God help me with you. 
بيضل بالك ببطنك شغيق You always think about your belly شغيق It's like you're saying your mind is always in your belly شغيق خففت لقمش Reduce munching يلا Let's go to the last part of this lesson which is the conjugation We already said بدك and بدك you want I already wrote them here I'm just gonna read the list and you can memorize it as it is أنا بدي I want أنا بدي أنت بدك you want it has a فتحة here أنت بدك أنت بدك أنت بدك you want feminine it has a شدة with a فتحة uh, with a كسرة sorry أنت بدك هو بدو he wants هي بدا she wants you notice here we don't pronounce this H in Lebanese Arabic we drop it هو بدو هي بدا نحنا بدنا انتو بدكن نحنا بدنا is we want انتو بدكن is you want هن بدن they want again we don't pronounce this H let me repeat انا بدي I want انت بدك you want انت بدك you want feminine هو بدو he wants هي بدا she wants نحنا بدنا we want انتو بدكن you plural want هن بدن they want and this is exactly the part that makes the conjugation different for next time let me give you verb to verb not to be in arabic it's not a verb verb not to be exists i'm gonna write the first one anamanne here anamanne and i will ask you to guess on your own how would you continue conjugating i am not you are not he is not she is not all of this rest because we don't have verb to be in the present in arabic but we do have verb not to be okay so your homework will also be to conjugate this part that's it for today let me turn my camera and say bye to you all right guys that's it for today i really hope you enjoyed it i am enjoying these lessons too um if you want you can do a small homework you can write down the sentences that we did today you can either write them on a piece of paper or leave them in the comment box below it's always a very good idea to write what you hear and what you see because your brain memorizes things faster even if your purpose is only to speak and not read and write that's it and i shall see you tomorrow bye